In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which He is offended. And through the infinite merits of His most sacred heart and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of Thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defendi nos in predio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli est presidium, in beretiri Deus supicesta precamor, tuque princeps militiae celestis, satana mariosque spiritus manignos, quel perditionem animarum bevagantur in mundo, divina virtute in trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these glorious mysteries, let us ask for graces of hope for those most in need of hope on this Sunday. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions, and protect us with thy mighty staff. Thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of hope. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the Apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Mm. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce, Dubet Spes Nostra Salve. A te clamamus, exules filii gave, A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. 
Eia ergo advocata nostra, illos tubus misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exiligum, ostende. O clemens, o pia, o dulcis virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour his graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis. Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. For those who have a few more minutes, I'll share with you now the readings for today's Holy Mass and then some, uh, some of the graces that I think God wants to offer you through these readings today. And it was a joy. I was able to meet one of you uh, over the weekend who prays the rosary uh, with us from, from a couple hours away in Kansas. So it's always a joy when I get to meet a member of a rosary crusade on the earth, though I know most of you all probably meet only in heaven, but I look forward to that moment. Uh, please God, arriving in heaven. From the first letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, I give thanks to my God always concerning you for the grace of God which was given you in Christ Jesus, because in everything you have been enriched in him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the witness to the Christ has been made so firm in you that you lack no grace, while awaiting the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will also keep you secure unto the end, unimpeachable in the day of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus, getting into a boat, crossed over and came to his own town. And behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on a pallet. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said to the paralytic, Take courage, son. Your sins are forgiven you. And behold, some of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Arise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, then he said to the paralytic, Arise, take up your pallet, and go to your house. And he arose and went away to his house. But when the crowd saw it, they were struck with fear and glorified God who had given such power to men. Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, arise and walk. And our Lord performs this beautiful miracle, healing the paralytic as a sign of his power to forgive sins. And that, of course, speaks to the power our Lord has confided to priests 
And just as it was hard for people to believe when our Lord walked the earth speaking with a Galilean accent and so obviously a man, that, that truly this was God able to forgive sins, so also it's hard, in one sense harder, in another sense not because of all the history of the church and the miracles we have to confirm it, but it is hard, a hard act of faith that in this poor, weak, sinful human being, so in myself and all other priests, there is Jesus himself forgiving my sins. And so there's a lot that could be said about confession today. You could talk about, I could talk about, the, uh, the realism of Christ's presence in the priest or the uh, forgiveness, what, what that means in terms of the eternal punishment due to sin that's absolved in confession or how God restores the life to the soul just like the paralytic can, can walk and move about so also the soul is restored to the divine life that it participates in. But there's an aspect I want to focus on that maybe we neglect more. We can easily think of confession as something that, um, that absolves me from God's punishment and that helps me be restored to life. So then I can go about my daily life again, all these good, maybe not evil, maybe good things that I should be doing. We can look at it sort of like, okay, finally I'm no longer grounded. Uh, my father's no longer angry with me, and now I can go outside and play. And we miss, if we think of it that way, the heart of the grace that's given in confession. And if we want to understand that as quickly as possible, in, in the shortest amount of time possible, let's go straight to Our Lady. Uh, the apostles, and I, I picture St. Peter doing this often, St. Peter was not the sharpest knife in the drawer, and as we can see, his pride was there. However, I think he probably was astute realizing, okay, if I need to learn and figure out, um, figure out which end is up, I need to talk to Our Lady uh, and ask her for her help and try to understand what Jesus is really about, how I should act, and so forth. And so I think he probably did that and would have understood the heart through her the heart of what this life is about and also the heart of what confession is about. And I remember talking with, uh, I remember a college student I knew some years ago, and he was trying to find what would give him the most happiness in this life. And so he tried uh, among good things, among not evil things, but he tried, um, well, he tried, the, he tried the college party scene. That was not a good holy thing, but that didn't work and then trying sports and uh, movies and theater and food and travel and all these good things, which he found he enjoyed, but all of them still came up empty. And there was still something much more needed to, to find happiness in this life. And then discovered, okay, that the key, better than all of those things, was a really good friendship. You know, living of a deep, good friendship, that was far better and then to have these other things with a good friend, but having a, a really good friend was the best that he could get for happiness on this earth. And then he found that even that in and of itself was still somewhat empty and needed our Lord. And that began a deepening of his relationship with our Lord. So also of the earthly things we can experience, friendship is the key one. and. St. Peter and the Apostles would have begun to realize that among the great mission of our Lord and the miraculous healings and the struggles and the, the fighting with the Pharisees and Sadducees and his mission, all these things going on, as they came to know him, they would have realized this, there's no one I've ever met in my entire life who's as wonderful, there would have been no words to describe it, how good, how wonderful, how um, how much it was the key to happiness to be with our Lord and just who He was and enter into that divine friendship with Him. But even much more than St. Peter, Our Lady would have understood that. And so as Peter got to know Our Lady and I'm sure also after Our Lord's resurrection would have asked her lots of questions, she would have conveyed to him something of what her life was all about and how in Nazareth, 
whether they were having a meal together or looking at the sunrise or the stars at night or singing a song or all the common work, um, all that went on, the, the, the pearl of great price, Our Lady realized that more than anyone, was Jesus. Jesus Christ is, is everything, is greater, far greater than every good thing in the world put together. And so she would have realized that and how real that relationship was with him. And then when he rose from the dead, the apostles would have realized he's still, it's still the same Jesus. He's having meals with us. He goes out of his way to eat even with them. Um, and for 40 days, he, he's with them, teaching them, but also helping them realize even though he's risen and no longer bound by the things of this world, it's still fully him, just as real, just as, um, as sensitive. We can make him happy. We can make him sad. It's really him uh, still fully alive and with us. And so I say all of that because to understand the heart of confession, we have to understand that is the heart of, of everything in this life. Um, everything else is nothing in comparison with that. And so in the moment of confession, when absolution is given and our soul is restored to grace or, or venial sins are absolved, the main thing that's being restored and happening is our divine friendship with Him. And so if you want to receive as much as possible the fruits and the graces that come from confession, live, for example, the act of contrition. When you say that the classic formula, oh my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they have offended thee, oh my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. To say that face to face with the crucifix, when I can, I love to have a crucifix in the, in the confessional so you can make your confession face to face with him. To say that realizing the pain you caused him and the joy of being reunited with him, to say that with true contrition, really sorry for, um, you could say in one level, the infinite pain our sins have caused his sacred heart and for being restored to his friendship and realize that that is then what the Lord, as you walk out of the confessional, that's the thing which you're receiving um, graces to deepen is that friendship with him. So I'll finish with uh, a classic um, Jesu Dulcis Memoria. It's a, a beautiful chant and just a little bit of the English translation. It's this for many centuries ago, it says, uh, the sweet memory of Jesus giving true joy to the heart, but more than honey and all things, his sweet presence, the presence of our Lord is, is sweeter, more valuable than any, everything. Nothing more delightful is sung, nothing more pleasing heard, no sweeter thought than Jesus, the son of God. No tongue can tell, no word express, but he, he who has experience of it can believe what it is to love Jesus. Only he who's experienced, and it's only the further you go in this divine friendship, the more that you experience it, is the only one who can have some taste, but as it says, no word can express it, no tongue can convey what it is to have Jesus truly and evermore as our friend, as the divine friend in that unique friendship with him. So God bless all of you. I wish you a very joyful rest of your Sunday and may you enter in more deeply to the fruits given in the Holy Sacrament of Confession. God bless you.